And here comes Evo Knievel. He's not hesitating. He'll go. I didn't think of Evil Knievel as a daredevil. I thought of him as a superhero. No one ever went for it like that before. I grew up in the 70s. There was a certain cynicism throughout the country. Society was changing. I guess we were looking for some sort of a hero. It was an amazing time. Evil was on top of the world. He's probably the only man in history who's become very wealthy by trying to kill himself. In the span of seven years, he became one of the most famous people in the world. Some people just can't handle that fame. I didn't know the story of the man, and it was pretty complex. He was a crook, a con man, I guess you'd call him. California judge has ordered Evil Knievel to serve out the rest of a jail sentence behind bars. Some of the stuff is tough to reconcile, but there'll never be another evil. I do not ask for your respect, I demand it. He created a character named Evil Knievel and then lived the part. He was the greatest reality show before reality shows existed. Are you afraid? I'm Evil Knievel, honey. I'm not supposed to be afraid. It's definitely come a long way from daredevils to professionals. The thing that's really inspiring to all of us is the showmanship side of it. That's such a large part of our culture now. It's a crazy story. It's just fast, faster, and disaster.